YouTube, Sawadee Krab. I am Jay from Hotel Libel and today I'm showing you the amazing Skyview Hotel in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm happy with my room. It's clean, neat, spacious, and I like the fact that it's a corner room. My room even has a little foyer, which is a nice touch. The bathroom is very spacious too, it's nice and bright. I tend to ask for extra body wash when I check into a hotel. However, in this hotel, that's not even necessary. There are three bottles of body wash in my bathroom, as well as multiple bottles of body lotion, conditioner, shampoo, and more. I'm not a morning person so I'm not interested in the sunrise, however my room faces the sunset and I'm looking forward to seeing that later this evening. In fact, I was just across the road reviewing another hotel just last week and I managed to capture this picture of the Skyview Hotel with the sunset in the background. When I arrived in my room I had a plate of beautiful fresh fruit waiting for me as well as a personalized welcome letter. Also they have this really amazing towel elephant. Now, these things are pretty common in Thailand. However, I've never seen one as beautiful as this. Look at the lining on this elephant. I already tried out the bed and it's good. Sadly, I killed the elephant in the process. I'm sure you know that I like to mention the power sockets in the room. Well, there are five available power sockets in this room. Two right by the front door, one on either side of the bed, another one right by the kettle, and there are two more power sockets available. They are a bit harder to reach, they're behind the counter where the television is, and there are also two USB charging ports, again, on either side of the bed. I don't know if you noticed, but there's a lot of cupboard space in this room. I counted six cupboards, eight drawers, a three-door wardrobe. I suppose this is really great if you keep in mind that we are surrounded by shopping malls, so there's plenty of space to pack away all of your shopping you did. This would make for a very nice sock drawer. You could put a lot of socks in here. I hate going to bed at night in a hotel room and trying to figure out all of the light switches. This hotel though has labeled their light switches, so that should make things a breeze. I even like the key card they give you here. I'm on my way to the Mojo for some dinner and cocktails. I'm here at the Mojo Bar at the Skyview Hotel and it's only 32nd floor. It's a beautiful view from up here, fantastic sunset. But let me get out of the way and show you. It really is beautiful up here. It's an awesome vibe, the music is fantastic. They brought me a couple of drinks, let me show you. So let me tell you what I have here. This is a strawberry soda. This is what they call a refresher. And over here we got apple sour. And I also got a mango meal. So this over here is the mojo fries. And it comes with a red bean dip, a corn dip and a tomato sauce. Chef tells me that this is a salmon and beetroot ceviche with hazelnut and tzatziki espuma. We have a urugan pasta with a mushroom sauce. And this is the deconstruct nachos with a cheese sauce. I can honestly say that the service here is very good. They're quite busy up here and despite that they still take care of me very very well. This is the first time I've had a corn dip and it really is such a nice taste. How refreshing. I wish you could actually be at the feel what this feels like because it's not just how beautiful it looks, it's also the whole vibe. 
the music and even the weather. So those of you living in Bangkok will know that it's quite hot here. But up here there's quite a nice breeze. It really doesn't feel hot. It feels so pleasant. Plus, it's just a beautiful to sit here and watch the city lights, enjoy your food, enjoy your drink, enjoy this music. I was wondering what is so special about this nacho deconstruct. So the nacho is like a like an envelope. And the nacho toppings are inside of this envelope. It's so clever. <laughs> And it's really easy to eat. Now I'm having a daiquiri. And now I'm having a Cello del Bosque. It is a JW Black, Martini Rosso, Benedictine Port and Orange Bitter. The chef brought me a rice pudding with some uh, lemon zest and uh, cinnamon. This is not the first time I've had rice pudding. But this rice pudding with the cinnamon and I love the fact that there's lemon zest in here. It adds a really nice tanginess to it. I had a really fantastic time here at the Mojo because you know the people are very friendly, the staff are really great, the food was absolutely fantastic, oh my goodness. And by the way, this is a brand new menu too. My Mojo experience was fantastic, what an amazing place. Great vibe, nice staff, amazing food, very nice drinks, beautiful view. I can really see myself going back there with my friends and hanging out. Wow, this bed is so, so comfortable. So I think I'm going to say good night and I will see you for breakfast. Good morning. I had the best sleep ever. This bed is so comfortable and these block out curtains do a fantastic job of keeping out the sun. You would never say that it's a bright and sunny day. Have a look at this. Check that out. This room is completely pitch black dark. See what a sunny day it is? You would never say it with the curtains closed. <coughs> Good morning. On what floor is breakfast? Thank you. Seventh floor. Let's go have breakfast. I'm at the prime restaurant for breakfast, which is on the seventh floor of the Skyview Hotel. As you walk out of the elevator, you are greeted by the morning newspaper. The restaurant itself is nice and quiet. They got some really chill music playing. Uh, there are many food options. We have uh, Western dishes, uh, a couple of eggs of course, bacon, sausages, hash browns, um, baked beans, and one or two other things. There is also a noodle section and there's an Asian breakfast section. They have salads, breads, fruit, they have cheeses, cold cuts, and some danishes too, and of course cereals. I noticed a large variety of teas too. As for the environment, well, the restaurant is very nice. It's got a very chic kind of decor and the music is quite nice too. The whole place seems very clean. Staff are very friendly and helpful. Hi, Chef. Can I please have an omelette with a lot of cheese and a little bit of tomato? Totally need a pancake machine at my house. As you can see, the pool gets a lot of sun too. So I think if you come here in the morning and maybe stay until mid-afternoon, you'll have some really decent sun here. It's also nice and quiet up here. There's a bit of music playing. 
The traffic is only eight floors below us, but you really cannot hear the traffic at all. It's nice and peaceful. It looks nice and green. I'm enjoying this jacuzzi, and I like the fact that the jacuzzi is perched over the edge of the building. It really is so very nice here. This pool area is fantastic. I like the dark tiles offset against the green leaves of the trees and plants here. Make sure that you get to the swimming pool before sunset because the pool closes at 6 p.m. They do also have changing rooms and lockers with showers right here by the swimming pool. The swimming pool also has the liquid bar, which is what you see right behind me, and they serve food and beverages here too. There's also a really nice smoking section where you can sit and chill. The location is really great. The BTS SkyTrain system is right here behind me. Uh, from Pong is the nearest BTS station. And right here behind me is the Emporium Shopping Mall. You can actually see the building right over here. And across from that is the Emporium Shopping Mall. A bit further down the road is also the Terminal 21 Shopping Mall. And Quite close to the hotel is a very nice arty kind of park with ponds and some nice sculptures. You can actually see that from my hotel room. I've always said that happy, smiling, laughing guests are a good indication of a great hotel. And this hotel certainly has those. People are really enjoying themselves by the swimming pool, taking funny pictures, laughing, having good food and nice drinks. The service there is also very good. They have one of the best fitness centers I've seen in any hotel and it's open 24 hours. What a bonus. It's very spacious. They have a lot of machines in here. They have cycle machines, Stairmaster, elliptical machines, treadmills, free weights and a couple of weight machines. Now this is Vanilla Sky which is on the 35th floor of the Skyview Hotel. Also a really nice rooftop bar. Very chill up here, some nice music. Fantastic place to come and watch the sunset. It is so amazing. this hotel is the brand new Italian restaurant called La Stella. I did a review of that restaurant too. What an amazing restaurant. And you can see that review very soon. This was a fantastic stay. Thank you very much to the Skyview Hotel and the Mojo for hosting me. Thank you to management and staff for being so courteous and cooperative. I really enjoyed my stay here. If you haven't done so already then please do go and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you will be notified of more great reviews like these. Also, please do like, share and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this hotel and what you think of the Mojo. Also, if you have any ideas as to which hotels I should go review next, please let me know in the comments. See you next time. Well, all good things come to an end and it is time for me to go home. But I had a fantastic stay here at the Skyview Hotel. This hotel has really, really touched my heart. Mm -hmm.